Hi golfers, Rob Cheney here from Golf Tech Singapore. This week, once again, I'm outside and today you'll find me in the bunker, greenside bunker, and following some recent short game videos, everyone's been asking me about different videos that I could film, and this one comes up a lot. So today we're gonna to deal with the basic setup and shot or swing for the greenside bunker shot. Okay, let's get into this. What's important in a greenside bunker shot? What are you trying to do? Well, we're trying to control the entry point into the sand, the exit point from the sand, and the depth of sand. And I see golfers every single day struggle to do this um, with any degree of consistency. The good shots are really the anomaly and the rest of the time they spend hitting too much sand, not enough sand, too far behind the ball, all kinds of permutations. So greenside bunkers can really give people a lot of trouble and I'll hopefully be able to just clarify and clear up some of the confusion and give you a real clear strategy as to how to deal with this shot uh, when you're next to, out on the golf course. So in terms of striking the ground in the right place, there's a couple of things I'm gonna do at setup to encourage this. Um, I've got this stick on the ground and what I wanted to be able to show you was that that's positioned very much up against my left heel. Okay, that's where the ball is going to be. So the ball is going to be forwards. And then I'm going to make some fairly significant modifications to my setup from any kind of standard shot. I'm going to turn my front foot out a lot, as much as 45 degrees, and really get my front knee pointing in that same direction because that's going to really help me to fix my weight forwards. I think most people probably understand that they're supposed to have their weight forward for a bunker shot, but I see a lot of people move around and shift their weight during a bunker shot. That can be more, more of a problem in a bunker shot than any other shot because the level of precision with which we need to hit the sand is, is very high. And if you start moving around, you're gonna start hitting the ground in the wrong place, which is a disaster. So I'm gonna start with the foot out and the knee over the front foot so that my spine, my head, my pelvis, my belt buckle is very much stacked on top of each other on this front foot. My right foot's gonna be wide, pulled back, so I've got a nice wide stance. And I'm certainly not going to aim to the left. I know a lot of bunker shots have been taught where you stand open with your stance. I'm going to stand square or even slightly closed. And when I hold the club, I'm going to have the face a little bit open. I'm going to make sure my grip is ever so slightly modified as well. So I'm going to turn my right hand grip more on top of the shaft. That might be considered by some people to be a weaker grip. So my right hand is going to be more on top. And that's going to help me because throughout the backswing and the through swing, it's going to really encourage my wrists to work in a particular way that I want them to. So as I start to swing, I'm going to use my wrists to keep the club face open. And I guess this is another area where I see the regular golfer fall down very, very rapidly. They get this very wrong in a bunker shot. Um, fantastic drill to check whether you're doing this properly. I'll share that with you in just a second. But ultimately what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep the club face open as I swing back and as allows me as I swing through to really throw that club head past my hands and under the ball to throw that ball up into the air. This fantastic drill that helps you to learn how to keep the face open throughout the backswing in a bunker shot was first shown to me by a very good friend of mine, Oscar Almland, who now uh, lives and teaches in Denmark. Uh, Oscar's a fantastic short game coach. If you don't know him, you don't follow him online, you really should. Oscar showed me this when he worked with me in Portugal many years ago. And what you do is you're gonna scoop the sand up onto the club face like this, take your grip, and as you hover the club above the ground, you're gonna keep that sand on the face. Now, if I swing back and start closing the club face, what's gonna happen is that sand is gonna fall off the club face immediately. And what I need to learn to do is if I swing this club back and move my wrists in the correct fashion, I'm gonna be able to keep that sand on the face and learn to throw it over my head. So that's gonna teach you how to do the correct wrist movement in the backswing to keep the club face open. A slightly different way for me to say that, for those of you that prefer to have something to think about with regards to your body, would be how the logo on the back of your gloved hand, so the left hand for you right-handers, the logo on the back of your glove at the top of your backswing would point very much towards your face. Okay, if you've got the, if you've got the glove turned away from you, that's gonna be a, a negative in terms of a bunker shot. So the glove, the logo pointing back at my face, and then when I swing through, hit the sand, and I finish, 
logo on the back of my left hand again is facing me. That's going to ensure that you're keeping the club face open sufficiently throughout the time and space the entire bunker shot swing and that allows you to swing fast because one of the biggest problems golfers have in the bunker is they're scared to swing fast because they start topping or thinning the ball straight across the green so hold the club right hand more on top weight forward and then as I swing back I'm going to keep my wrist or the back of my left hand facing me and as I throw or hit the sand I'm then going to have the back of my hand facing me on the way through too. So that exercise should help you to be able to keep the club face open sufficiently, which helps you to have plenty of speed or allows you to have plenty of speed, which is essential for good bunker play. And if we take a look from down the line, just to give you another perspective on this, um, I talked about how the front foot was very turned out. I mentioned how the back foot was pulled back and even slightly closed to my target. And the reason for that is because it allows for the hand path to stay nice and shallow. Again, I think historically bunker play has been taught in such a way that encourages golfers to aim to the left, open the face and then swing across the ball. And my experience at least is that many golfers have a real problem with that because all of the energy that they're putting into the swing and into the sand is really moving the sand in the wrong direction. Okay, the golf ball needs to go out forwards we should really be directing our attention and our swing and our throwing of the sand in that direction. So I like to stand with the back foot wide and slightly pulled back. Another thing that you wouldn't have got from the front view is that the distance from the ball should increase um, to allow me to get the handle here a little bit lower. It's another factor or another way of keeping the face open and encouraging those wrists to extend and cup on the backswing to keep the club face open and expose the bounce. So as I go ahead and swing back one more time, I'll show you my little exercise. I'm going to keep the, the loft on the face, throw the sand over my shoulder, move my hands around me while keeping the back of my hand here facing my, uh, back of my hand facing me, which is really the same thing as the club face. I'm keeping the club face pointing backwards at me. Pretty good shot, came out nice and soft. So um, that's really what I'm looking for. I'm looking to keep the face open, allows me to swing nice and aggressively through the sand so that I can go in and out of the sand very consistently. Having the wrist in this condition really helps the club not only go into the sand, but also come back out again. And I don't think that's talked about often enough. I think a lot of the time people are just told to keep hitting the sand and they end up hitting down for too long. And that's why golfers struggle quite often with different depths of sand. Whereas if you're controlling the amount of sand that you're going into by really controlling the wrist, both in and out of the sand, if you're able to do that, then it really doesn't matter how much sand you're standing on, or how much sand is in the bunker. You can be a good bunker player, regardless of how much sand you're standing on. Golfers, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. If you don't already, please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the content and please make, it, make sure you check out my other videos. I have a few more short game videos that have been added to the channel very recently. Um, bunker play can be a very interesting topic. I think there's lots of different attempts to create a functional bunker swing for many, many golfers. I've seen all sorts of different efforts in terms of how to get the golf ball out of the sand, where some far more successful than others. What I like about this one is it fixes your weight very much on the front and helps you to kind of hit that ground in the same place, which just like the stack and tilt fundamentals, controlling the contact is the number one fundamental and the, and the biggest variable in poorest players is their ability to hit the ground in the same place. And I would just extend that into a bunker and say to most people that they cannot control where that club is hitting the sand. So if you really want to get better at your bunker play and you can find time to practice it and you have access to a bunker where you can practice, give this exercise a go, see how you get on. I'd be really interested to see you, uh, let you, let me know how you get on with the opening of the face drill and really just controlling how that club and where that club hits the sand. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a share, give it a like, and don't forget to leave me a comment. Uh, until next time, guys, have a great week. Enjoy your golf, and I will see you next time.